Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We told you we'd be back and here we are with more helpful tips to get you through your issues that you may be having with your PC. There's always gonna come a time where you're gonna have to format your drive. And I'm talking about your hard drive or your SSD, your main drive in your PC or your laptop. So like you may want to format it because you're having issues or you may wanna format it because you're selling it or you may have accidentally formatted it. Either way, we're gonna cover all that in this video. So if you're in that situation and you came to this video because you accidentally formatted your hard drive or you purposely formatted your hard drive and now you're missing some data that you desperately need to get back, so this video is gonna give you some tips on how to get that information and data back. So let's jump right into it, but before we do that, let's make sure you get down there, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any more of the videos that come out to help you. So you may be asking, can files be recovered from a formatted hard drive? Well, if they couldn't, this video would be very short, but they can't. So we're gonna take you through a few ways to do that. So actually, if you accidentally format or you purposely format your drive, it's not actually gone. It's sort of into a hidden state. So it's actually still there and available for you to get if you know what you're doing. So what happens when you format your drive is it'll take your data and sort of compress it down and make it hidden. So it's still there and available until you start putting more data onto that hard drive. So the minute you format and then you go back and start putting new stuff on, you start uploading pictures, you start doing all that, then it's gonna start eating away and replacing the stuff that you formatted over. So if you accidentally or you purposely format your hard drive, remember there's data on there that you need, you need to stop what you're doing right away, don't put anything on there, don't do anything, and then follow these steps to try to recover it. Because the minute you start putting stuff on there, you're gonna start losing data and you're not gonna be able to control what you lose because it's all just there in a big clump and it's gonna start getting replaced as you put stuff in. So once you get to that point, you're not gonna know what you can get back and what you can't. And if you start doing it, there's a good chance you're gonna lose what you're actually trying to get back. So like we talked about before, why would you want to format your hard drive? So one reason it would be to erase your data. Now you're gonna do that if you want to maybe replace your hard drive, you're gonna to wanna to wipe it completely clean and maybe use it as a secondary drive or use it for something else. But you're definitely, whenever you remove or do anything with that hard drive, but no matter what you're gonna to wanna to do, once you, if you're gonna replace it or whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna to wanna to completely format it so that it's erased. Maybe you wanna change your file system. Windows makes use of the NTFS system. You may have seen that when you're formatting your drive, that NTFS. All, and different OS's use different filing systems. Maybe you wanna use this hard drive on different OS's. So if you would wanna do FAT when you format the hard drive, that filing system can be recognized over a different OS's. So you wouldn't be pigeonholed into being just on Windows. Maybe you just wanna improve your PC's performance. Over time, you're gonna collect a lot of junk on your hard drive, uh, a lot of updates will leave leftovers and stuff like that. So every once in a while, I do this a lot, where I'll go into my, whether it's my Mac or my PC, and I'll do a complete wipe of the OS and bring it up everything new, just to clean everything out and get a nice level playing field again, starting back at zero. And usually when you do that, I'd say 99% of the time, you're gonna get a much smoother OS experience. So that's a big reason to format your drive. Okay, so let's get into how to recover files after formatting your hard drive. Okay, so now we've talked about all the reasons to do it, why you would do it, uh, all that kind of stuff, a little bit of the, the ABCs about it. So let's get into how to recover. So first of all, if you have an actual backup, obviously you're gonna get your data from there. But if you don't have a backup, don't worry. If you don't have backups, you can always use Recover It data recovery software. That'll get that deleted data back for you. It's really the most highly recommended software like this, and it can get your data back in minutes. It's super user-friendly, but let's just sort of, let's take a look at it and we'll walk through the process. So first of all, you're gonna download Recover It to your computer. Once you get it downloaded, install it, of course, and then open the program. So now you're gonna choose your your hard drive. So it'll show you different target locations. Pick the one that you want, hit the start button. Scanning will then begin. Now we'll scan your formatted hard drive that you pointed it to. Now just relax and wait for it to be finished. Then you'll be able to preview the files. Once the scanning gets complete, 
You can locate your lost files or data, then you can preview it, make sure it's what you were looking for, and then click on the recover button and get your files back. Now here's a little bonus for you. How would you securely format your hard drive if you're using Windows? So before formatting your hard drive, here's some tips. First and foremost, keep a backup of your hard drive. This goes without saying, especially if you're here because you accidentally formatted your hard drive, make sure you now keep a redundant backup of your drive. And like we said before, if you don't have backups, don't worry, follow the steps that we just mentioned before and you can get your data back. Check the status of your drive. There's different tools on the market that you can search the internet for that'll sort of examine your drive and make sure it's healthy, make sure there's no issues that are gonna pop up. So it's sort of like preventative maintenance. Just make sure everything's good so you don't have a catastrophic issue. So you also wanna make sure that your USB drives are working properly. You don't want any kind of disconnection issues when you're doing this. So make sure that they all function properly before you start this process. So here's two simple ways to make sure your drive gets formatted properly. First, how to format your drive in Windows Explorer. Start by connecting your drive and then launching Windows Explorer. You'll see the drive, right click on it and then hit the format option. Choose the file system you want, we talked about that a little bit earlier. Give it a name and then check the box for quick format. You can now hit the start button at the bottom and then your drive will format. So here's how you do it in disk management. Press the start button or open the run dialog box and type diskmgmt.msc and open disk management. Once it's open, right click on the hard drive and then choose format from the menu. Now a dialog box will pop up, specify the name of your drive in the value label section. Okay, in the file system dropdown, pick NTFS. After that, choose default from the allocation unit size dropdown. That's a mouthful. Finally, check the box next to the perform a quick format and press okay to confirm. So I'm sure you came to this video panicking, not knowing what to do if you accidentally formatted your hard drive or if you did do it on purpose and you formatted your drive and there was data to get off of it. I hope this video puts you at ease and lets you know that there is ways to get that data back after you format your drive. So that's gonna be it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you in any way, please leave a comment down below and let us know. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more of this content. There's lots of stuff on the channel. You can search around and see different things that will help you in all kinds of different situations. But that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Larry Dickerson, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.